Hello there, colleagues. This is Mr. Scott. Um, I just wanted to share with the all virtual colleagues, my all virtual students, what we've been working on uh, the last day with the map work. So if you're going to do a stream monitoring program, it's really important to make sure you have some idea as to where your river is flowing and what areas it actually drains. Because the stream monitoring program is about looking for possible pollution sources. So your colleagues that have been coming in to school have been working on these topo maps to get an idea as to what entails the complete stream channel network system for the Alplaus kill. So a topographic map is a map that shows your elevation and of course it has roads and the villages and buildings and that kind of stuff, but it also shows all the rivers. This is the Burnt Hills Quadrangle topographic map which covers a very large portion of the Alplaus kill. And so what your colleagues have done that have come into the classroom is they've started all the way down here at the mouth of the Alplaus kill where it runs into the Mohawk River and they've backtraced all of the stream channel segments that represent this entire stream channel network that makes up the Alplaus kill. The point of doing that is number one is to get a, at least a pretty decent eye or idea of what the watershed area, all the area that drains the Alplaus kill, and you can do the stream water calculations to figure out what the stream water is for our study site. So I'm going to just kind of go up here to some of the fingertip tributaries and you can see the labels that are on here that was done by one of your colleagues. They've got some ones placed on here to indicate that these are fingertip tributaries. Where two ones come together for stream channel segments, you would make a two. And I'm just going to work my way down through here. You can see the stream order designations as we go along. And they should be increasing as they are. Then we get into eventually the main branch of the Alplaus kill. And we eventually get down to here where we've actually run into a stream order of four. And now this is the main and the largest branch of the Alplaus kill. Our study site area, and this is where the maps actually connected, so there's this little blank spot there. They do connect across, so if you take a look from this location to that, and that to that, they match up across the maps. Our study site area is right here, just off of Glenridge Road. There's that big meander. That's where we'll be doing our field work. Not too far from that, we'll actually run into the Mohawk River. So we're not too far from the actual Mohawk River where we do our work and all of our testing. Um, I'd like you to put down in your class notes notebooks um, under the stream order the following notations to indicate that the Alplaus kill has a maximum stream order of four and our study site has a stream order of four. And if you would have a conversation with another environmental scientist who's doing stream monitoring, that's how you would actually relate to each other in terms of talking about the size of the rivers you're working on. You would not talk about its width and its depth. You'd be mentioning it in the form of a stream water. Okay? Um, I'm going to give you some numbers to do some calculations of that watershed area of this total region that's drained by the Alplaus Kill, which is really quite large for such a small river that you might think is a pretty small river. I'll give you some um, dimensions, length and width, to go ahead and determine that watershed area to put into your notes too. Okay, so that at least gives you a feel for what we did in class um, with the maps. I couldn't find a way to get the maps to you or get the maps back, so we'll have to just deal with it in this way. Alright, and I will talk to you again soon. Be good.